Hey guys, good to see you again. So last time we showed you how to register and connect the Smart Club to the Smart App. Okay, and we showed you how to get in position to swing. Today we're going to look at more of the analysis side of things. Uh, the three metrics, the swing speed, the tempo and the path angle. Okay, so first I'm going to get in position to swing. Make sure my hands are in the right position. The angle of the club is perfect. When I'm comfortable, I'm going to press the white button. Ready. Start. Okay, I hear the tone, which means it's, it's recording my swing correctly. Here we see the metrics. So first we're going to have a look at the speed. Okay, so here we have a speed graph, which is showing my, my swing speed throughout my whole swing. So you can see the green line, which is my setup, my address position. And the orange line is where I made impact with the ball. So you can see when I swung back, so you see the, the club moving back, you can see the speed increasing and then slowing down at the top of my backswing. And then you'll see that sudden increase into impact. So there I'm coming down and at impact on the orange line, you can see the top of the curve is on the orange line, which is what we aim for. We want to accelerate into the impact zone. Okay, and then I follow through, and then you can see the speed slowly going down until zero when I hold my follow through. Okay, and then on the right of that, you see a graph with the speed and the distance, and here we can compare the average golfer to the pro golfers. So this is just a good, um, a good way to see and uh, compare yourself to the golfers and see what speed and what distance, what metrics you're aiming for. All right, so next we're gonna have a look at the tempo. So this ties in very closely with the speed. So our tempo is basically the ratio of the, down, the backswing compared to the downswing. So here we see the orange line. The orange is the backswing time, and then the green is the downswing. And then the 3.51 is the whole swing, including the follow through. So from research, we see that most of the pros have a tempo of about three to one. So here I had 2.85 to one, so it's pretty close to what we're looking for. So we basically want a backswing that is three times slower than our downswing. So again, we increasing into uh, the impact point. Okay, so that's your swing tempo. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look at the path angle. All right, so here we see the path angle, which is the direction of the club head coming into impact. So here we can see I've come a bit from the inside to the outs. So there you see in to out, uh, 3.2 degrees. So when we swing from in to out, we're generally gonna be hitting a draw, which the ball is moving right to left. When we swing from out to in, we're generally gonna be hitting a fade when the ball moves left to right. Okay, for a left-handed golfer, this will be the opposite. So your, your desired path angle will change depending on what shot you want to hit. But in general terms, most golfers will be trying to, to do what I just did here, inside out slightly. Okay, so that will hit a little draw, especially with the driver. Okay, so there we, there we see the three metrics, the speed, the tempo, and the path angle. Um, oh, and then smash factor as well. Here we have smash factor. So there, this is showing us whereabouts we hit the ball. So we're always trying to strive to hit the ball in the sweet spot. Okay, so smash factor, the 1.22, is basically the ratio between the club, the swing speed, and then the speed of the ball off the face. So we always trying to, we want the ball to come off the face faster than the swing speed. And to do that, you take into account the swing speed and the sweet spot where you hit the ball. So here you can see I hit it in a pretty good spot. So 1.22 is a pretty, pretty good uh, smash factor. The pros are generally up around 1.5. Okay, so... So there we have it. I showed you the speed, the tempo, and the path angle, as well as a little bit of the smash factor. So next time, we'll have a look at the other metrics. Thanks so much. See you next time. Ready.